Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using our controls. In this video, we'll show how to create a new chart with two series, populate it with data, and adjust its common settings. So let's get started. Start with a new WPF application. Find the chart control item on the toolbox, then drag and drop it onto a window. Right click chart control and choose the reset layout all option in the context menu. This will stretch the chart to fill the whole window. The chart control supports six different diagram types, which can be set using its diagram property. The available options are XY Diagram 2D, Simple Diagram 2D, Radar Diagram 2D, Polar Diagram 2D, XY Diagram 3D, and Simple Diagram 3D. For the purposes of this lesson, select XY Diagram 2D. Let's select the diagram in the XAML editor to access its properties. From the Properties grid, invoke the Series Collection editor using the Series Ellipsis button. Here, you can add a series from any of the following series types. Add two bar side-by-side -side series 2D. Then specify the display name for each series as Series 1 and Series 2 accordingly. Each series has its argument scale type property. This specifies the scale type for argument data of the series data points. Note that the argument scale type is set to auto mode by default. This means that you don't need to specify the scale type of the series point argument because it's detected automatically based on the type of underlying data. You can change the value scale type property. This specifies the scale type for the value of the series data points. In this example, we leave this property as is. Then, invoke the Point Collection Editor and add four series points. Specify the argument and value for each point. Then click OK to close the editor. After that, select the second series and add four points via the Point Collection Editor the same way as we did for the first series. Let's make our chart look 3D. To do this, select the first series and set its modal property to Quasi 3D Bar 2D Model from the drop-down list. Repeat the same for another Bar Side-by-Side -side Series 2D. By default, series labels are hidden because the chart control has a built-in crosshair cursor. You can display labels if you set the Labels Visibility property to True as shown. For the purposes of this lesson, we'll leave this property as is for both series. Click OK to close the editor. Let's run the application to see the preliminary results. You can see the crosshair cursor label that invokes each time the series points are hovered over by a mouse. Let's customize the crosshair cursor and also add a charts legend and title. Select the chart control element in the XAML editor to access its properties. Click New to get crosshair options in the Properties grid. Let's set the Show Argument Labels, Show Argument Line, Show Value Labels, and Show Value Line properties to True. This allows us to display crosshairs, axis lines, and labels on a diagram. Then let's change a text for the crosshair group header. For this, set the Group Header Pattern property to Group A. To add a legend element to a chart, click the New button in the Charts Legend property. As you can see, the Charts legend was added to a chart automatically. To create a title, click the Titles Ellipsis button in the Properties grid. This invokes the Titles Collection Editor. Let's add a title and change its content to My Chart. Click OK to close the editor. Let's switch to XAML View to see the resulting XAML. and let's run the application to see the results. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops. 